To irony curtain from Matroska with love, we also need apparently these. There we go. And we need this. And now we just need the medals, and I'm gonna go back to the metro now and get them. So let's come back over here to you, old veteran dude, and I'm gonna give you my grenade! A grenade? For me? A real grenade? You! You are a good man. Despite your foreign stature and slight build. Here, take my medals in exchange. Oh, thanks! They're almost identical to General Ansomov's. Cool. And, oh, looks like we are going to time this X splendidly. Splendidly, because the train is here! The train to the right, which is the one I want. Now let's go ahead and add the final piece to our disguise, the medals. Shofarov, let's, uh, go. But, Comrade General, uh, the cotton candy... Forget it. We must go. <laughs> Comrade General, is everything okay? What? Oh, yes. Yes, <laughs> of course. Uh... There's no need to rush, Comrade General, sir. Uh, we will arrive at the base ahead of planned time. The base? Uh, the one you are inspecting, Comrade General. <clears throat> Yes, uh, let's start with the Iron Gate today. Uh, the gate? Uh, but it's not on our schedule. What? I apologize, Comrade General. Is there anything else you want to say? Mysterious, annoying, I don't know. So, uh, we can't really do anything in here right now, uh, just to check. Yep, all we can do is look at this. Yeah, top secret information gathered using operational methods and then increasing the activity among a civilian population. Considering rebellion. Yeah, grocery list. Very specific grocery list. Radiation's off the scale. Alrighty. Yay for disinformation. Okay, plans. Uh-huh. Cameras have been successfully installed in her apartment. Great. No comment about that. The intel arrived at the hotel at 10 o'clock. Recording equipment has been activated. Sergeant, uh-huh. Will not be made proof with any details. The individual presents an impeccable ideological stance, but location in that chamber has been found. Boom. Bear certificate. Ivan. Huh. Interesting. Top secret. Our scientists have concluded that the pyramids are not tombs of piles of stone gathered by the ancients. Cool. Uh, this is the most interesting one, definitely. Oh, uh, what's going on? Oh, it's... The fuel, General. Oh, uh, what's with the fuel? We... I mean, I was supposed to refuel at the base, but Comrade General changed the route. I did what? Oh, no, 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 no. I didn't mean... Uh, don't worry, Comrade General. I'll go to the base and get some fuel. It's just a couple of miles. I'll be back in no time. Major, you have no rights. They just speed it up now. A couple of hours before the driver comes back. I better not get this disguise dirty in the meantime. Cool. Can you look inside here? Hey, where are you going? Oh. Oh! <laughs> Who are you? A thief? Tell me the truth. Are you a thief? Tell me. Tell me now. Hey, easy. You relax. I, I was just walking by. Driving! By. I mean, we ran out of gas, so the chauffeur headed off to the base. Chauffeur, eh? You someone important, man? Tell me. If you're important, tell me. Sure, why not? 
And so, you see, I'm on a secret mission. Can I trust you? Of course. I said improvise, <laughs> Ivan. Yes, with everything. That's great. It's so hard to tell who I can trust these days. So, here's the situation. Someone's planning I to said improvise, me. Ivan. Why are you wow, telling him everything? You are important. Big cheese. Maybe I missed. Whatever. Oh, you think so? <laughs> That's nice to hear. I'm Ivan, or rather, Evan Kowalski. And I'm Leshy. But they call me Lesh, but you can call me Leshy. Or, no, you choose. <laughs> You're an important man after all. <laughs> Leshy. I will call you Mr. Leshy. What are you doing out here in the middle of nowhere? Uh, around a guess. You only have one guess. One! You? <laughs> are weird. Uh, to me, it looks like you're a little, um... Crazy. <laughs> Nonsense! <laughs> Not at all! Well, uh, maybe a little. That's due to the fumes and for me eating delicious weasels. <laughs> but that's not the right answer. I'll give you one more chance. We'll start the entire conversation over again. Pretend you don't know me. Oh! Ah! <laughs> huh? Who are you? A thief? Tell me the truth. Are you a thief? Tell me. Tell me now. No, I was just driving by and I ran out of gas. Uh, the chauffeur went to get some. Chauffeur? You someone important, man? Tell me. If you're important, tell me. Well. Fine. I don't know if I'm important, but I'm on a secret mission. You look like someone I can trust. Of course. <laughs> yes, with everything. That's great. It's so hard to tell who I can trust these days. Someone wants to kill the leader, and I have to stop them. Wow. So you are important. Big cheese. <laughs> oh, you think so? <laughs> That's nice to hear. I'm Evan. And I'm Leshy. But they call me Lesh. But you can call me Leshy. Or, no, you choose. <laughs> You're an important man after all. <laughs> Leshy. I will call you Mr. Leshy. What are you doing out here in the middle of nowhere? Uh, look around and guess. You only have one guess. One! You're a moonshiner. You make alcohol. You guessed it. <laughs> <laughs> yes! And not to brag, I am the most famous and acclaimed moonshiner and matryoshka. You make that shroom call I'm always hearing about. Yes, that's me. Lesh makes the shroom call. <laughs> Ugh, it's a shame I can't try some of your product. But getting ham bone drunk right now won't help me complete my mission. I need to stay sharp. The chauffeur will be back soon with the gasoline, and I'll need to quickly put on my disguise. Uh, you won't be back soon. To the base and back on foot, that's two, three hours at least. Really? Oh, I don't have that kind of time. The meeting could start any minute. Maybe I can help. You need my help? Tell me, do you? Tell me. Yes, I do. But do you have any gasoline with you? I have to get to the base by the gate as soon as possible. And then, in disguise, I need to take part in the conspirators' meeting, where they will determine the time of the attack. This is extremely important. My entire mission depends on this. Oh, boy. Talk about big favors. Well, you're in luck. I've got something better than gasoline. <laughs> I've got a plan. A concept. <laughs> a safer alternative. I'm all ears. They know me there. I've been bringing them my shroom cahal for years. I'll hide you under a tarp in my trailer, drive up to the gate and park by the windows of the officer's quarters. It's so stuffy in there, they always have their windows open. You'll be able to hear everything while keeping out of sight, so you won't have to risk getting caught. Ha! <laughs> That's a great plan. Plus, I love playing hide-and-seek. Let's go. Hold on. I need to get everything ready. Make sure to let the soldiers at the gate know I'm coming so they won't start shooting. Uh, bring the tractor out, cover the trailer. I'll bring the tractor and cut. No! I need you to take care of something else. You see, I'm famished. And uh, I get fussy when I'm hungry. And more importantly, uh, if your stomach starts growling under that tarp, well, we'll be in real trouble. <laughs>
Better we both eat something. I'll, I'll get the transport ready. And you find us some hot snacks. Okay, I'll find something. Once you're ready, bring the food to my dugout. Let's get to it! One more question before we go. Why are you looking the other way when speaking to me? Uh, because I, I have to keep an eye on my apparatus. I know you greasy-handed Westerners have thievery in your blood. But I... I'm just joking. <laughs> I'm actually looking right at you. It's just an eye condition I have. Yeah. Sure. All right. It's part of the apparatus that produces that popular mushroom image. Cool. Uh, I'm gonna. Where is this? I want the rubber hose. Cool. And look in the trash. I'll take you. The old and man probably uses these mushrooms to make his vodka. Matryoshkin paprikash is a very popular local delicacy. Huh, I'll gladly try some just as soon as I stop the conspiracy. I don't think you'll want to. For no apparent reason, we can go ahead and take this little mushroom. Great. We saw the guard's card somehow. Why? I don't know. Anyway, what's the sign say? Warning. Unauthorized crossing of the line will immediately be punishable by firing squad. Repeated offenses will result in docked pay and ration cards. Interesting. Ooh, look at that right there. I won't get to it without getting hit by a bullet. Probably a lot of bullets. And we can't go down the path because... I see they're quite serious about not crossing that line. Cross it three times and you'll get an achievement for being an idiot. Cool. Why did I even get that? Hello, bird. Tweet, tweet, tweet. You didn't seem very friendly. Alrighty. Now. I'm going to go ahead and use a Be stupid, actually. Use the slingshot on the bird. Hasta la vista, birdie. Just kidding. Shooting at a bird, although rewarding in a sadistic kind of way, wouldn't solve my problems. But I do need you to fly away. Okay! That just happened. What a gruesome country. Don't worry, little ones. I'll take care of you. Sure. Sure we will. Anyway. Oh, there's the Iron Curtain up there. I've always dreamed of seeing it. What an impressive structure. Both awe-inspiring and terrifying. And so curtainy. God, this looks like a curtain for some reason. If I interact with you, I create the amazing lasso of whatever Wonder Woman uses. And I can get the mushroom that way. It's humongous. That's the kind of mushroom we need. Alrighty. Now we're going to go back over here. And I'm going to... Can I just use the tiny one first? Sure. Use the tiny one first and then the big one. Make it extra. Not a lot of alcohol comes from such a small mushroom. Hmm. Of course, now we're wasting it, so we better put this here. Perfect. Can I turn that off? We're just wasting alcohol now. I guess not. Anyway, the hood is still warm from the ride. I'm gonna look in the cabin. Meant to do that sooner. All stations, all stations. This is uh, Birch. This is Birch. Radio check. Over. Birch, this is in alphabetic. I read you 555. Five, five. Please identify yourself. Over. In alphabetic. This is just me. Uh, just us, comrade. Over. Just us, just us. This is in alphabetic. Sterling, is it you over? In alphabetic. This is just us. You are correct. Over. Justice, this is in alphabetic. How can I help you? Over. Uh, nothing actually. In alphabetic, this is Justice. Out. Justice, this is in alphabetic. Roger. Out. Cool. Boing. 
Take that. Down a little. It won't go lower than that. Cool. Clearly, the tank is empty. I want to honk the horn. Anyway, what's in the back besides the files that we don't care about? Uh, alrighty. The hood is still warm from the ride. So you could cook something on there, like the eggs. Cause why not? Are they done yet? They're rather cold. Unless she asked for some hot snacks. Well, we better figure out how to get them heated up, eh? We look right here at the fuel intake. Ah, uh, won't budge. It's closed. Great. Well, we're gonna have to pick that lock eventually to pour the, uh, you know, the fuel in. Just check some things. What's that? We can leave. The traders will be meeting at the base by the gate, and soon. I need to go there, not back to the city. Let me look in here again. I wait. I got this. Yeah, I want to open this. He got the spare key. And now, whoops, wrong way. Now we can open this. And I hope I don't need some sort of weird thing to put this in. Now the car can be started for a little bit. Maybe I can make a snack for Leshy on top of the hot engine. That's the plan, my friend. Wrong door. Uh, I need the spare key again. I'm not much of a driver, but I must have done something wrong because the car died. It's as far up as it'll go. Now? I'm not much of a driver, but down a little. Let this work. There you go. <laughs> it started. Sweet. Now that should cook the eggs. A completely hard work. The perfect hot snack for the road. Whenever I take a bus back home, I always bring along some hard-boiled eggs, sausage, or smoked fish. Cool. I think that's actually it. Let's see here. Uh, if I give you these, we should be done. I have the food. Uh, hard-boiled eggs, okay? Yeah, I was expecting more, but all right. Uh, I, I was expecting more. I'm ready to. We can go. Ready? Ignition! Alrighty. Uh, before we go, I'm just gonna make sure I do have this achievement, because I'm going for 100% on this game, actually. Believe it or not. Nice. Nice. Definitely did, because that would have triggered it right there. Alright, let's go! I said let's go. Meanwhile... Major Orlova. Hello, Comrade Orlova. Tell me, how is your family doing? My family, Comrade Leader. Good, I hope. Everyone's hard at work for the glory of Matryoshka. They're good. That's nice to hear. And tell me, Orlova, where is our Ivan? Surely he's already taken in all of Matryoshka. Yes, Comrade Leader. Comrade Ivan has arrived, but before we can let him into the palace, we were ordered to thoroughly search him in order to ensure the leader's safety. Who gave you such a stupid order? Comrade Leader did. Comrade Leader. Uh, we'll tell them to hurry up with the search. Yes, Comrade Leader. Glory to Matryoshka. Evan, where are you? Taking many detours. Ouch. Huh? What the? Well, well, well. We meet at last. Playing spy, are we? I'm afraid playtime is over. You got him. I kept my promise. Now it's your turn to honor our deal. Why, of course. You will get exactly what you deserve. Hi. Hello. <laughs> I see our guest is awake. Let me out right now. 
This is some horrendous misunderstanding. You're making a terrible mistake. It's you who made the mistake by crossing me. This morning, I still didn't know what role they had planned for you. But now, I believe I do. Since they went to all this trouble to bring my doppelganger down here. Uh, excuse me, if anything, you're my doppelganger, and my trip to Matryoshka had nothing to do with you. Look, I came here because the leader's life is in danger. Yes, yes. And by keeping me here, you're unwittingly helping the conspiring assassins. <laughs> yes, of course. Unfortunately, you'll be here a while, because... Let me out of here right now! Watch who you're talking to, moron! This is the Minister of Propaganda! I don't care who he is! If the leader finds out... Comrade Minister Vlad is the leader's right-hand man, you moron! He knows best what's best for the leader! Shut your yap, old man! It just so happens, little Evan, that the leader can't help you anymore. We'll see about that. Why am I dressed in this uniform? Give me back my clothes. Your clothes went into the oven. You, my dim-witted double, will serve as my backup plan. I'm not a plan. I'm a man. If anything goes wrong, then we'll have a little quid pro quo, and the Western traitor and conspirator will bite the dust. Oh, you don't understand anything. I'm the good guy. Exactly. And I'm not. You're not in the States anymore, Dorothy. Not even funny. Yes, it is! <clears throat> I don't have time to deal with you right now, but I'll gladly interrogate you later. We have methods that'll make you tell me everything and give me E-V-E-R-Y-O-N-E -E -E you ever worked with. I swear I won't tell you a thing! You understand? Nothing! Oh. Why so angry? <laughs> you swear now, but after we pull your fingernails and toast your balls, you'll feel stupid for not keeping your word. Vlad, you're a vile son of a bitch. If it wasn't for these bars, psh, I'd hit you already. But just wait till I get out of here. You'll get yours. <laughs> Don't count on it, little Evan. You know what they say. Keep your friends closed, but your enemies... More closed. Well, what a situation we found ourselves in. Uh, well, next time on Irony Curtain from Matryoshka with Love, we're going to work on getting out of here. See you guys then.